I'm always on the hunt for brand new solar technology, and that's why I went to the CES 2026 show in Las Vegas. Taking the Tesla loop makes it easy to get there all throughout the entire show, and man, was this place incredible. Each hall has dozens of football fields in size, and they have everything from batteries, to making different size of battery packs, solar panels, for EV charging stations, massive, massive TVs with the highest technology possible. But of course, I'm mostly interested in the solar generator equipment like this new system from Afery and these wall stacking batteries from Buetti, EcoFlow with their big systems, Jackery with waterproof systems. One of my favorites, the brand new Pecron, which is super powerful. This massive industrial A-Box system. Different batteries for home use that can be recharged from solar panels that track the sun. And even solar powered door locks that will work forever. Mini splits that keep everything elegant and cool. And of course, gas generators, cars, and much, much more. Afri was one of the first places that I stopped because they have lots of small units that help people get started into solar generators. Everything from charging phones to running a refrigerator. I actually use one of these at my off-grid cabin all of the time to have backup power for my Wi-Fi so I can monitor everything remotely. You guys really liked the P310 in 2025, and this is one of the most affordable yet still very powerful systems on the market, including the option to add expansion batteries. It was pleasant to see them there showcasing their systems, and I'm gonna do a full video just about this booth because they also have their P280, which is a system they're very proud of, and it's very expandable. And I actually picked up this teeny tiny power station, which was really cool because it has a 100 watt USB-C built in. On my way over to Blue Eddy, I saw this really cool Navamo lawnmower this would make life so much easier. But what blew me away at Bluetti was the wall mounted battery system that's meant to go on top of, the side of, or behind on the wall of a refrigerator. They even have a sodium ion based solar generator that can work in sub freezing temperatures. They have their Apex 300 using multiple different batteries that can also integrate with the whole house, connecting up to three of those Apexes together. The newer Elite series seems really cool for portable power that can fit under a bed. And I'm gonna have to get my hands on one of these sodium ion units because this needs a lot more testing. But the Elite 300 was super compact and very powerful. Well, that's really cool. And they even have their own RV system that has a special server rack batteries that goes to a five kilowatt inverter. It can integrate with 12 volt appliances. They were definitely having a party over there and there were lots of other content creators around looking at their equipment. On my way to Jackery, I saw this really cool flying suit. This would be insane. But Jackery is also showcasing some very new and innovative equipment at their booth at CES. Last year, they talked about their solar tiles, which is a small display here but you can see the progression of the different size of units. This is their orange collection showing the different sizes that don't allow for expandability. And of course, they've got their home power 3600 plus, which is kind of a middle size power system. And one of my favorites of all systems out there is the Jackery 5000 plus, which can even integrate to run the whole house. But they launched their brand new Explorer 1500, which is waterproof. I mean, this looks really cool. It's meant for rugged environments that are dusty and full of water and mud to keep itself clean. But this solar pergola, you would never guess that there are solar panels on top of this, but they have over 2000 watts and you can run this down to a solar generator or get their Mars bot, which will charge itself with deployable solar panels. And this place was also very busy. I'll also have a dedicated video for them. But these Segway e-dirt bikes in this massive e-bike in the background were really cool to see walking around. EcoFlow just recently launched their Delta Pro Ultra X, which is super powerful, and the Smart Home Panel 3, which is awesome. It's extremely powerful, very expandable, and can truly run a whole house, but be taken with you. They had this cool exploded version of a Delta system, which is cool to see the inside. And EcoFlow has drastically increased their lineup of products, everything from portable air conditioners and fridges to their power stations, even a teeny tiny trail system meant for backpacking. One of the biggest things they were announcing is that they are integrated with 15 different brands now for smart home features. In between there and Pecron, I saw this massive TV, a skiing simulator, that looks like a good workout, and lots of different mini split options options of different sizes for heating and cooling. But Pecron was one of my favorite places that I stopped at. They announced their F series and some new E series, many of them working with their trolley system to keep it portable. It's very powerful and cheap. I've got to take my backpack off for this. It's too exciting. But the star of the show and my favorite thing at the show was the Pecron F5000 LFP. I have a dedicated video on this already, but it has a 7.2 kilowatt inverter that split phase so you can run power to the whole house as well as five kilowatt hours of battery, but it can expand up to over 25 kilowatt hours of battery with these battery expansion ports. 
and that could be easily charged in a single day with the 6.4 kilowatts of solar input. This is awesome. And a unique thing is it actually has a 12 to 40 volt DC output for running lots of DC equipment. And I found this really cool solar powered door lock that never runs out of power. And it does it with a special solar cell and it uses an infrared camera for facial recognition. You can use your fingerprint. It can also work with an optional keypad. And if all else fails, you can still use a physical key to bypass all of it to get through your door. But what makes this so special is it's using this specific type of parasite solar cell rather than a crystalline silicon solar cell, which is what we're used to using. In very dim light, you can see that it's still making power, which means even without direct sunlight, it's gonna stay charged charged up. Using a flashlight to simulate direct light, we can see how the perovskite solar cell still makes more power in direct light, very similar to the crystalline silicon cell, but without it, it's still making power and charging the 10,000 milliamp hour battery all the time. This is made by a company called Desklock, and they make dozens of types of door locks. It also functions with Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, so it's voice activated, so if it can't read your face, it may recognize your voice and you can open it still. On the inside, Side, it's a normal looking lock, so you can use it just like a normal deadbolt. Gas generators are always very helpful as a backup to the solar, and Westinghouse had some very impressive and powerful systems. I talked to them about having an automatic switch for different types of solar generators and off-grid inverters. That way they can act as automatic backup and recharge the batteries when necessary. They've actually made their own small version of an automatic backup with a battery, and they get into big EV chargers. Lots of cool stuff here. ABOC was another company that I found and I was really excited to see them here because not only do they have units that are similar on the market and they're supposed to be very competitively priced, you can see these in different brands all over the place, but this unit here was something unlike anything that I've seen before. This is a heavy duty outdoor rated solar generator. With 7.2 kilowatts of inverter output, it's very powerful and pairs with 9.8 kilowatt hours of battery and expands up to almost 30 kilowatt hours total, matched with 3.7 kilowatts of solar. I told them they definitely need to get those solar numbers higher. A minimum of five kilowatts of solar is necessary to recharge that large battery bank. Being at CES really exposes you to how many brands are being unique and how many are just kind of copying each other. Powweiser was one that was unique using this 200 watt, very lightweight sun tracking solar panel. I bet this is pretty expensive, but still really cool tech. Seeing the options for solar powered EV charging is something that I'm actually interested in and I want to pursue. Seeing that along other kind of tech, just for mowing the grass or using around a construction site or at home for moving heavy equipment, all the way down to folding your clothes. I definitely have to look into see if I can get one of these. One thing that I thought would be really cool as a side business is a vending machine business. And this is one that we found that's open 24 seven and includes a really cool user experience for people watching these robots get them their food. The glass is bulletproof and it's all monitored so that way there's no risk of vandalism of people breaking in. This was just a really cool vending machine and a business idea and it was fun hanging out with other content creators at the show. This would pair extremely well with an EV charging station where people are sitting for 20 to 60 minutes charging up their EVs. They could be doing it off of solar, getting snacks, and having a relaxing time more like what they would expect from a gas station. That's all for CES 2026. See you guys in the next one.